Belton High School hosted a technology showcase to show the community how advancements in learning are affecting students. So often in the classroom we close the door and we're the only ones that get to see the amazing things and we want to share that with everybody else. It was a night full of apps, which is a term that means applications. Our core content teachers and special needs department are showing what they've done with iPads in the classroom and our CTE department is showing what they've done with a multitude of different types of technology. Lydia Perez represented her history class by showing off apps like Simple Mind, Keynote, and iMovie. I like the apps because like it brings out the creativity and I think when I do stuff on an app I remember it better than what I do on paper. She started off with the Keynote app of an American World War II presentation sent out by her teacher. We download it and if we want to get ahead we can but if like if we're absent for a day we can quick easily download it and um, catch up with the rest of the class. Then there was the iMovie app. I like it because I can add music to it and I can be, let the pictures focus in and out of certain areas. Gavin McNanny knows an app or two about music through his radio broadcasting class. It's definitely more hands-on and stuff like we, we get more like uh, we get videos and stuff that te help teach us and uh, it's definitely better than books. Technology I think is really good especially for a class like this. An app called GarageBand assisted Gavin with recording and editing. Say you wanted to mess around with like the recorder you just click straight on it and once I'm done with that I can uh, go right here and I can look at the actual uh, recording itself. If I wanted to add extra instrument, uh, I would do this. I can go and I can put in like uh, drums and I can actually mess around with a drum kit. Grant Wolf enjoyed messing with a 3D prototype printer used in his graphic design class. Okay, so we changed from black to red and uh, we are going to print a Belton B design. Uh, Morgan came up, with, uh, came up with this design. He made it from a 2D file and he made it with a CAD system, uh, a computer aided design. That, uh, it's called uh, Tinkercad and he took the 2D file and he basically made it into a 3D cylindrical kind of file. So. It's going to print a flat, yet also 3D file. These projects may not have been 3D, but functional academic science and English teacher Martha Chapel enjoyed showing how her students use the iCell app. This we're looking at a, um, an animal cell. You can enlarge it. You can identify the different parts of the cell. The different things will come up. It'll tell you what it is. It'll tell you what it does. Chapel students were also on hand to show off projects they did, which included either a demonstration or an explanation of their family's cultural activities at Thanksgiving. Chapel says technology keeps her students engaged and up to date on information. There's a site in Florence where they're digging up fossils right now. So we can go look that up and see what pictures they've just recently posted. That's not going to be in a textbook. Chemistry teacher Meg Jamison is attempting a paperless environment in her classroom. But if they want to go paperless, then they have the option of getting the files electronically through Google Drive. And there is no need to sharpen a pencil when taking a quiz in Jameson's class. We have Beta Socrative, which is how we take quizzes in my classroom um, that don't require any sort of math or handwritten work. Other apps allows Jameson to produce flashcards for her students to study with. So normal style flashcards where you can touch it and turn it over and flick it out of the way and get new flashcards. But you can also have play matching games and uh, a memory game. There's a word search function. So it just makes learning vocabulary uh, much easier and fun for the students.